Hey, Chip Flory from Scraping Bottom Games, here to show you some of the latest improvements that we've made to Victorum version 1.1. I've begun a playthrough as the Firebrand, which starts the game with a fireball. Using spell shaping, I can shape a fireball towards my multi-shot and high explosive runes to turn the spell into a cluster bomb. Time slows while shaping, allowing you to precisely aim your spell. Every structure in Victorum is fully destructible, and the rubble can be used to crush your enemies. I'm using Clairvoyance now, which is a feature we added into the game shortly after release. It allows me to magically view enemies, quest objectives, and loot within the area. We've reworked our UI to be more gamepad friendly, and it now feels great to play Victorum on a controller. I found a few new items that I'm going to equip, and I'm also going to change my high explosive rune for a chain reaction rune I just picked up. That'll make my fireball leap to nearby enemies after impact, and I'll keep high velocity and multi-shot on my rune set. While I was playing dress-up, the enemy had the chance to gain some ground on me. Fortunately, I found a few abilities that I can use to get myself out of danger. One of the big complaints that we addressed in this version is improving our AI. You can see that the enemy is flanking me and working together in an ultimately unsuccessful attempt to overwhelm me. A for effort, though. To continue on our warpath to the Grand Inquisitor, we'll have to go through that glowing nexus, which we can expose by destroying the Sentinel Tower connected to it. We've completely reworked our third-person camera and have smooth transitions entering and exiting buildings. You can also shift the camera to the right side if you prefer. All right, that's enough for this location. Let's head back to the Nexus. Ha! Man, sorry about that, little buddy. Back at the chapter map, the story progresses for our character, and we can review items and equipment that we've found. And using the Nexus, we can choose where we want to go next, ultimately arriving at the final location here that progresses us to the next chapter but we'll have to watch out for the endless Inquisition Legion approaching from the left. If they catch up to us, it'll be a very difficult fight. I'll choose this location, which puts me closer to the final beacon, but still ahead of the Inquisition Legion. The randomly selected events at chapter locations usually have something interesting going on, and often result in combat like we saw earlier. In 1.1, all of our events have been reworked by our new writer, Nathan Fierro. That's it for our 1.1 update. Be sure to check victorum.com for more, and thanks for watching.